Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Uh, yeah, what day is it this coming out? Oh, I hope you had a great weekend. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know what day of the week it is, especially when you vlogs are going out on days that they're not that, that, that they weren't filmed on. Mm, very confusing. Um after doing the fugas bread, I, that was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. And I thought, do you know what? I want to make that again so I can have a really good excuse to make a soup. Um, particularly make a soup in the Ninja Foodie. And I've, I've made some more fugas bread, but I added some um, sun-dried sun -dried tomatoes and very thinly sliced garlic. Um, this isn't part of the vlog, but we're going to eat it with our Ninja soup. I'm a bit annoyed with myself because I... Got had rosemary, which was going to be the third ingredient, but forgot to add it. Oh, so annoying. However, that's going to be um, that's going to be part of our meal. Um, um, exactly the same as the fugas I made, bar the sun dried tomatoes, um, which I will sort of put in the cost breakdown, etc. Um, but yeah, come and have a look at the ingredients. So today, we're, we're I'm going to be making in the Ninja Foodie spicy carrots and lentil soup um i'm liking the look of this quite a lot um again i'm sort of stretching my spice repertoire being a complete novice um the ingredients will float up here uh, but obviously that's carrots and it they I will, i'll also give a link in the description to the recipe but grated carrot lentils this is cumin seeds as a, a pinch of chili flakes some olive oil uh, milk and yogurt to serve oh and um it says a liter of um vegetable stock which is what that is but with my um sunday dinner i actually saved some of the chicken stock stroke that that's when i cook the chicken in here it kind of you have water at the bottom so i'm going to throw that in as well because that will just add to the flavor uh yeah so i'm going to crack on and start cooking um yeah see you in a bit so the recipe says to dry fry the um, cumin and cumin seeds and the pinch of chili flakes onto on the oh, in the well it says hot saucepan but in this case this and it, it says to do that until the cumin seeds start jumping around and then what you're meant to do is retrieve half of this I'm gonna when it's sort of cooked for one minute or so, put it back in the here and save that for the end with the idea of sprinkling it on top of the soup. Uh, in fact, pressing start would help. <laughs> yeah, so you sort of, once you've cooked this off a little bit, you retrieve half of it to sprinkle on at the end. So a minute's passed. I had to allow for this to get hot. So we might see something happening soon. When they start popping, I mean, I've never done this before, so I really don't know what to expect, but I'm just going with what the recipe says. So I'm hoping, um, I, I, I'm get, really getting a lovely smell. Mmm, smells nice. Let's just see what happens. It's on, um, it's on five on the, on the sear saute. They're not exactly jumping around, but I can tell that they're cooking because they're going a little bit black. So what I'm going to do is just turn it down to three uh, and start retrieving these um, spices because these are going to be scattered on the fi finished soup. Just half of it apparently. Yeah, that will do. Now I'm going to add the olive oil. Add the carrots. Add the lentils, add the milk, add the stock. I need to do two of these because it's only half a litre. It says one litre in the um, um, in the recipe. I'll just stir this and then add the half, the other half of the litre. So it says to let, let this cook until the lentils have softened. So I'm just adding the second half of the um, stock, just because my jug's not big enough for a litre. And also I've got the my chicken stock that I saved, but that's my additions. I mean, this could be a completely vegetarian meal. Um, 
but yeah, I'm, I'm sort of adding this for myself for flavour, extra flavour. Mmm, smells nice. I'll we'll just let that cook, um, and I'm going to be blending it with my stick blender thingy majig once it's cooked. going to season it to taste um, and then I'm, I'm in about five ten minutes I'm going to be um, whizzing it with my stick blender thing it doesn't take long it's actually really quick soup once you've got all the ingredients prepped the grating that's the longest that took the longest to be fair right so I'm gonna whiz this oh, turn it on right so I'm gonna serve up uh, and come back for a taste test well that's look, look at that Sorry, I'm just gonna angle it. I don't know how to do this. Hold on. In fact, let's have a better look this way. That does look absolutely delicious. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. It's all a bit hectic because my daughter's coming to dog sit while we go visit my dad. Um, I have made tea bread and I made tea bread in my new loaf tin. So thank you, Janice, for that. I really appreciate that. Here, have a look. <laughs> I've wrapped it up, but it, the loaf tin was brilliant. Um, thank you so much for that but this 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 is great I wanted to really um, I wish I had put rosemary in my uh, bread though but the bread does look fantastic despite the lack of rosemary so I'm going to enjoy dunking that in a minute um, and the soup looks delicious so I'm going to taste that first before I dip the bread uh, let's have a go. I've, I have adorned it. It's got a little dollop of uh, plain yogurt, um, some salt and pepper to taste, and a little bit of coriander. Oh, and I sprinkled the cumin seeds. Oh, that's delicious. That. Oh, oh, that's got a lovely, warm, spicy overtones, if you like. Oh, and you can you can taste the lentils. But then, and the carrots are nicely balanced. Very, oh, this is a lovely, I mean, the weather outside is actually reflective of the soup. Slightly warming. They'll good, make a good winter soup. Oh, yeah. Come and have a close look. That's really, really lovely. Mmm. Let's try some bread. Mmm. Oh, the bread's nice. A slight twist to the fugas that I made before in that it's sun dried, but mmm. Oh, that's lovely. Naan bread would be really good with this as well, but I'm really happy with my fugas bread with. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. If you'd like to see me make this, let me know because I would, I'd like to do it again because I forgot the rosemary, and I'd even collected. I got rosemary from the allotment from a neighbour's allotment. They gave it to me. Hmm. <laughs> oh wow. This is lovely. So I'm going to serve up everybody's. I'm just doing this quick because my daughter's about to arrive and I'll be so busy with because I haven't seen her for a while so I wanted to get this video done 
um because i'll be going to see my dad and then get this edited for monday so i hope you all have a, i hope you had a lovely weekend <laughs> um and i'll see you on the next one take care everybody bye oh i want to thank you jim thank you massive thank you for my super thanks um that's really really kind of you um jim bimbo clack thank you take care everybody bye